YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with the four most overrated NFL teams heading into the 2019 season. If you guys remember a video I did somewhat recently, uh, it was a video covering the fan bases that hate me the most. I may have to go update that and change it after this video right here. I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ripped from some fan bases here, but just so we're clear, overrated doesn't equal bad in my opinion. You know, some people always think that. Just because I say they're overrated doesn't mean I'm saying they're not going to be good. You know, most, pretty much all four of these teams are pretty solid or have a bright future. Um, I just kind of going off a lot of people's predictions where they have them. I just don't have them quite there. Maybe they're a little overrated, a little overhyped. Also, I'm going to do a four most underrated teams video. So we got two of these coming out. Plenty more predictions, rankings to come, full coverage in season. A couple of big announcements before we get into the actual video. Uh, how to get access to all this extra stuff here you see on the screen. The left side is YouTube memberships. You can get special badges and emojis through chat for just the comments and chat and live stream. Sneak peeks, polls, bonus videos, NFL type videos, and then behind the scene videos. Uh, all that you can get access to. Just click that join button. That's You'll see it right now. It's underneath every single video, right underneath it. Uh, and you'll kind of you'll learn a little more about this. And then for Patreon on the right here, a little different. It's the first link you'll see in the description. It's a Patreon link, and you can possibly get into our fantasy football league with us, amongst the viewers as well. Uh, Pickham's league, same situation. And the private Discord chat, which is very cool. We have people in the fantasy league, Pickham's league, and Discord chat right now. And there's more. There's ways to get shoutouts and to get your predictions in our weekly Pickham's videos when the season comes. Uh, yeah, kind of previewing the Discord. I think the Discord's really cool. Um, we already have a few people in there. We have special emojis, as you see. We can have, we, you can, um, you know, use NFL logos, stuff like that. It's really cool. It's a really cool chat, way to get an instant response. We can do Q&As. We can talk during games. Uh, we were talking dur during Hard Knocks with the Raiders the other day. Very cool. Uh, so please check that out. Really appreciate that. Appreciate you if you subscribe, too. We got daily sports videos, full coverage in season. Click that like button. Check out our Twitter. You know the drill. Really appreciate you guys. First overrated team. There is a set order here. Um, hopefully these fans don't hate me. Uh, number four is going to be the Colts. I think the Colts are a good team. You know, there's some notes I got on the screen. I'm not going to um, really read exactly what's on there. I don't like being scripted. You know, I just like uh, kind of going off my thoughts here. Uh, in the moment and, and the, for the Colts again I think they're a really good team uh, and there's a lot of people out there that think you know there's not too many people that are predicting they're going to win a Super Bowl there's a good amount think they'll they'll reach that they can reach that uh, that Super Bowl or they can get that far and there's there's people predicting them to win it um, and again I think they're a very good team they can make a run very tough division I'm back and forth on that division really the AFC the AFC is so much better than the NFC you know I think there's a there's good teams in the NFC, obviously, but the AFC is so much better. It's just so hard. Uh, and I just don't know if I get that Super Bowl feel, you know. There's a lot of good on that team. But, and I'm not talking, when I say this, I'm not talking about specific players. Like, you can make the argument that Andrew Luck's elite, uh, and they got some players that are close. Darius Leonard keeps it up, um, you know, and, you know, offensive linemen there, you know, Quentin Nelson. But, I, you know, I'm not talking about specific players. I just don't think there's really anything elite about this team. You look at what it takes to win the Super Bowl over the past Several years, it takes, well, I guess Tom Brady, the GOAT, mixed with Bill Belichick, um, also with a lot of talent everywhere on that roster, um, or it takes insane balance. Like, you got no holes with insane depth, and you have elite talent, uh, elite traits on the team here and there, which I'm kind of explaining the Eagles from a couple years ago there. So things like that, or you need an elite defense. Like, those are the things, you know. A lot of teams haven't really won the Super Bowl besides the Patriots over the years. So um, those are the things you need. I don't think the Colts have that yet. That's the key word. Yeah, they're definitely a team in the future. Um, you know, a year from now, I could be predicting them to win a Super Bowl. I just don't think they're quite there yet. I'm not saying 0% or anything like that, and they can definitely make a run. Uh, but that all that I explained combined with the other teams of the AFC, uh, Patriots, Chiefs, like it's going to be tough. And, uh, you know, I would not – I guess a whole bunch of people haven't really picked them to win the Super Bowl. But I just think people have them like kind of locked in as a not only a playoff team but going pretty far. But going back to the AFC, it's tough. You know, it's really tough. I think it's much better than the NFC. Um, you know, it's something I've I've thought already, but you know, something I really noticed recently that the AFC is much better than the NFC from what what I'm predicting. Um, and then 
their defense is hard to trust. You know, everybody was wrong last year. Everyone thought their defense would be a bottom five, bottom ten defense, uh, and it was much better. It won them games at times. You remember that Cowboys game? That was a great game for them. Um, that's just one example. Um, but it's still hard to fully 100% trust that defense. Like, I can see some setbacks a little bit, um, but still a good defense. So there's some things there that just tell me I think they're not ready to win the Super Bowl. So those people that are picking them to win it, I'd say not so fast, but it's coming. That's what I would say. Uh, number three, the third most overrated team going into the season, in my opinion, is the Green Bay Packers. And it's kind of something that came to my attention recently. If I would have made this video like two weeks ago, they probably wouldn't have made the list. Just it's it just seems like that time of the year. It happens every single year that everybody just shoots the Packers up their board, their power rankings, and their their division their division rankings predictions and playoff pre everything. You know, people are starting to pick the Packers to make that run and make a Super Bowl run. It's just that time of the year. It happens every year, and it's been a while since we really seen I know it's because of the quarterback health, but that's still a question. Uh, when you ask those people why, like why do you have them, every single time the response is Aaron Rodgers. And to me, that's just, in today's NFL, it's not enough. You know, he's a great quarterback. If healthy, it's still a question. Um, but it's, and I'm not ruling them out. They can def- they can win that North. North's, uh, NFC North's very tough. Uh, very tough. I think any team can win that division, uh, but they can definitely win it. They can make a run. I just don't think Super Bowl. You know, when they won the Super Bowl, Rodgers was in his prime, even though right now, if he is healthy, he's not far from it, but they also had better pieces everywhere, pretty much. Um, you know, defensively, they're much better. And the people that will say more than just the response would be more than Aaron Rodgers, you know, some people think their defense, um, their, their, their argument is their defense really improved, and that's 100% accurate. But it didn't improve to make them a top 10 defense, I don't even think, you know, and that's still not even enough for me. Um, you know, I think they went towards the bottom 10 in defense to, uh, you know, they, they stopped the run pretty well in the past, but then they got better, and I, I, I love Kenny Clark. I love the corner duo. I think they got the corner duo of the future. Um, really, it could be if maybe maybe the corner trio of the future, um, but I, I really like Jerry Alexander and Josh Jackson. I really like that duo. love that draft for them. Um, but it's just in a lot of new people in there, you know, they don't, it doesn't just click like that. And it's guys that we 100% don't really know what we're going to get. They got better, but they didn't get that much better. But for the most part, people are just like, they're going to be back because Aaron Rodgers. Well, he said that last year, he said it the year before, I know he can play. You don't have to convince me he can play at a very, very high level. You do not have to convince me, but is it enough? Talked about what has won the Super Bowl recently. Tom Brady slash Bill Belichick with much more talent on the Patriots team, I think, than my opinion, I guess, and the Packers team. People forget how good the defense plays for the Patriots in, in crunch time uh, down the stretch. Uh, and then the Eagles with, I mean, that Eagles team that won the Super Bowl, the best depth in, in completeness, balance I've ever seen. The depth, the rotations for impact depth players, ridiculous, and great coaching on top of it. And that's another point, coaching. We don't know what we're going to get with first-year coach Matt LaFleur. You know, we don't really know what we're going to get. I did not like his play calling, his decision-making, for the most part, last year with the Titans. I guess you can't take away too much from that, but you can take a little bit away from that. And him and Rodgers, every week I'm hearing something new on how they're not agreeing on something, so... It's not saying they're not going to go far. They're win games. They're going to win games. They could make a run. I just don't see Super Bowl. I really don't. People are just going in default mode now. It's that time of year. So I got to put the Packers up there. Uh, number two is going to be the Eagles. And although I, I do think the Eagles can win the Super Bowl, they can go far for sure. The question, you know, what has to happen is that they need to stay healthy. And it's hard for me to 100% trust this team to stay healthy. You know, between their quarterback, between their offensive line. You see the running backs were in and out last year. Um, I like they added some receivers. That's a good thing. But kind of going through their team, the defensive line was beat up last year. Barnett uh, was an impact on their, their Super Bowl run year. And then um, he, he was hurt last year, all last year, actually. Uh, their linebacker unit got worse in the offseason. And the secondary was extremely beat up, even though they have solid depth there. Um, they do have talent. It just I think they just really need to stay healthy. And it seems like... They're the favorites. You know, everybody's picking the Eagles. And I don't know where. I think, like, Lewis Riddick started the, the, the train, and everybody just hopped on. You know, Lewis Riddick's a smart guy. Um, when he says something, it almost sounds like fact, and usually I, I don't like those people, but I really like Lewis Riddick. He's just a very smart guy. Um, but he did guarantee the Bears were going to win last year, and he that, that didn't work out even though 
maybe if they would have made the field goal in that game against the Eagles, actually, I think they actually could. I think they could have went to the Super Bowl. Not that they would have beat the Patriots, but I think they would have beaten any other teams. But it just seems like everyone's jumping on the Eagles. And I just don't get why people are just like forgetting or like 100% certain they're going to be healthy. You know, even when they were healthy in the beginning of the year, they struggled at times. You know, Wentz was pressured. People forget Wentz was pressured a lot. He was pressured a lot, had really no time to. Th- people are forgetting this stuff. I'm not saying it's going to 100% repeat. But it's still in the back of my mind. I don't get why people are so sure they're Super Bowl favorites or they're going to the Super Bowl. Um, I think they definitely got to be the East favorites right now. It's just I, I'm not 100% on them staying healthy. And even when they are healthy, it's not 100% they're going to be that great. You know, Nick Foles did win the Super Bowl. It wasn't Wentz and, you know, Wentz could have. But uh, is he the same, you know, after after the injury? It's, it's, a, it's a good question. It's a legitimate question. Again, I'd say for the East, Eagles got to be the favorites at this particular time. Uh, they will make a run. I just don't know if they should be the actual Super Bowl favorites. If they can, pro- if they have proven to me they can stay 100% healthy, then I'd say, okay, that they wouldn't be on this list. And then the final most overrated team, really the other three teams we talked about have been have had like Super Bowl talk. This team is not, but I still think they're the most overrated team going into the season. It's the New York Jets. I don't know when they became these legit playoff contenders. So many people are just putting them, you know, the watch out for the Jets. You know, I don't think everyone's picking them to go to the playoffs, but a lot of people are picking them to go to the playoffs, and they, they're going to be the surprise team. I've heard multiple people say they're the Bears this year, the Bears from last year. That's that new Bears team, you know. Um, I'm just not seeing it. I, I think Darnold has potential, but he's not ready yet. And you could say, well, I guess the comparison of the Bears, Trubisky didn't really play the best season. He still got there. I mean, Trubisky's a little better. He can do a little more uh, in that system. People forget that system uh, was a game changer for the Bears. You know, that threw teams off. It was a good system, and Trubisky fits that system very well. I think he's a better quarterback than Darnold, and I don't know why we're focused on comparing the Jets and the Bears so much here, but I've heard it so many times that the Jets could be the Bears from last year, and if people are really hyped about their defense. I'm hyped about certain pieces of their defense. Quinn Williams, C.J. Mosley, um, you know, their their safety duo, mainly Jamal Adams. Uh, you know, Leonard Williams is pretty solid, too. He needs to play better than last year. But they have holes, you know. I, they have holes, or it's going to take some time to develop. But, you know, the pass rush isn't there. The most important thing is quarterback and pass rush and coaching. And for those th- those three spots... For this year, I'm not talking about long term, but this year, I do not like them. I don't like them. They're not going to sit here and say they're bad, but I, they're, they're not there. I would be surprised if this team made the playoffs, and I'm going to look like an idiot if, if somehow they do, but I am going to be shocked. This team's not ready to me. Um, I don't like the coaching hire. Um, they drafted pretty well. You know, Maybe they're heading in the right direction if the coach works out. I just think they have more work to do, so I, I don't get where the playoff you know, hopes are I, I I guess somewhat easy schedule because they play in, in the AFC East, but um, you play the Patriots twice a year, so I, I don't know. I'm not seeing it with the Jets. That's just that's just my take. I think they're a team of the future. I, I believe in Darnold's future. I think it's going to take some time. It's kind of one of those raw quarterbacks that needs some more time. Um, he's a guy that will turn the ball over and cost you some games. That's just I feel strongly about that at this particular time. So. We'll see. That's my four most overrated teams going into the NFL season. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Love seeing it in the comments, even if you're disagreeing. Love to uh, you know debate those things. And I see you guys debating amongst yourselves all the time. I really like that. Um, so hopefully you guys can join us for our full coverage in NFL season. Subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Click that like button. Check out our new memberships. Link in the description for all that. Uh, Pretty cool stuff there. But that's going to do it for this one. We got the most underrated teams coming up next. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.